Today, I'm exploring the, the question of how do you know when you're ready to progress in your training, particularly in calisthenics training, because a lot of methods like convict conditioning are all about steps, or how do you know when you're ready to add weight to the bar, and so on. There's two answers to this question. Uh, the first one is that you don't, <laughs> you don't know for sure ever if you are ready for that next step. The reason because progression of any kind is a creative process. It's like an author sitting down to the computer gonna write their next book or screenplay. How do you know it's going to work? How do you know it's gonna be a success? You don't. So there's always gonna be a little bit of a leap of faith with this sort of thing. Now with that said, there's a lot of guidelines out there that help take away some of the risk. Convict conditioning has their progression standards. Once you can do this many reps, then you can move on to the next step. My general uh, idea is once you can do the twice as many reps as you started off with, then you can progress. So if you start doing five, you can progress at 10. Once if you're doing 10, you can progress at 20, that sort of thing. Also, if you're starting to feel a little bored or stale with an exercise, start to play around a little bit with the progression uh, and see if it ignites some more growth and progress for you. But the second part of that answer of how do you know when to progress, my initial reaction is, well, what are you waiting for? Like, how do you know when to progress? Aren't you now? <laughs> progress now. In the next workout, you should be progressing. And let me give you some clarity on that answer. Because progression is often portrayed in our fitness culture as a series of steps. Combat conditioning's got their 10 steps. Dumbbells are often in five pound increments. You get to the weight machines and they're in plates that you go down and so forth. So mentally, we've been taught to think of progression as a series of steps. But the reality is that progression of anything in life, but especially fitness, is more like on a slope. It's, it's like a ramp. You, you don't have steps, you have maybe signposts, you know, mile marker one or two or three or so forth, but it's not in steps. Instead, every single time you work out, you should be looking to progress something on at least a technical level, something a little bit, tiny bit different. It's not like you do your workout the exact same way and then suddenly you magically can ascend to another level. Instead, look to refine and progress what you're doing all the time. Don't, don't be stagnant, don't stay in one place. That's one of the reasons why I created my table of progressive elements. There are nine ways you can progress any form of training and ever, any exercise. And all of these are infinitely adjustable along a spectrum. It's like those slide switches in a recording studio. You don't ratchet up, you can fine tune things. So you can fine tune your technique. You can fine tune your exercises so that if you're doing push-ups, let's say, and you can get 10, but the eighth, ninth, and 10th one looks like this. So then what you say, okay, I'm gonna do 10 the next time, same technique, but I'm gonna try and clean up those last couple of reps. You start to do that, you're progressing. That's your next step. Your next step is better ninth and tenth repetitions. So we're always right on the cusp of our next step. It's literally right in front of you. Do the exercise to the very best of your ability. That's your next step. And that's the step that's always literally right at your feet. And you're always ready to take that step. All right, questions down below. Be fit, live free.